Hey you guys, I got a little nugget to show you today. Welcome to my BigCommerce Expert Series where I show you cool things that you can do with BigCommerce. And in this video, I wanna show you guys something that is a piece of the brand statement that I showed you guys on the last video, which is this right here, where we have the, the name of the brand, RV Gear Pro. Now, this is a block that we added to all of our product pages, but what we wanted to do is create some variation and acknowledge that while RV Gear Pro as a brand doesn't have spaces in the name, we do want to show up whether people type spaces or not. So somewhere on the site, we want to reference ourselves as having spaces so that we are relevant to both of those terms, RV Gear Pro without spaces, RV Gear Pro with spaces. So here's what we did. <clears throat> Within these brand statements, which are on all of our product pages, as I mentioned previously, we added a statement where we reference the brand name RV Gear Pro, which links back to the homepage. And we did this using a big commerce helper. I'll show you guys the code here because this is a small one. I'll show you guys how to do the small ones uh, if, if they're demonstrable. So this is a small one where we just took this one statement and we said, if odd else close, if odd. And we passed in because we're on the product page where those brand statements or showing, we passed in the product ID with the term product.id. And so basically every product in your store has a number assigned to it that is unique to it, which is its product ID. Your category pages have category IDs. So you could use this on the product page or the category page if you want it. So in this case, we pass in the product ID. So maybe it's one, two, three. And then the stencil statement says, if that is an odd number, then show this. Otherwise, show this. So by passing this in, we passed in, uh, you know, RV Gear Pro with spaces here, RV Gear Pro without spaces here, which is going to effectively make it so that half the time we show spaces and half the time we don't within the context of this brand statement on the product pages. So if we have 800 products, then, you know, roughly 400 of them are going to show with spaces and 400 will show without. Now they all point to the, the, the homepage, so it's all good. Um, I can see how you could use this if odd statement, tying it with a product ID or a category ID to create other scenarios where you want to show something differently. Maybe you want to show an ad 50% of the time or an image 50% of the time and the other time you don't. Now it wouldn't be a perfect solution to create an A-B test because it's not, you know, going to perfectly test across a fair, a fair scenario of products because some, you know, your product, your pop, your popular products may tend to be odd numbers just randomly. And they, you know, you're, that's going to throw the test off, but you know, poor man's A-B testing, you could do some cool stuff or, you know, maybe you just want to showcase a couple of different things and you want to give each one of them 50% of the love. Either way, this is, a, this is a cool statement. Again, you could use this on your product pages or your category pages to do cool stuff and just create more variation. So I appreciate you guys being here. I'd love to know what you guys are trying to solve because um, you never know. It might be my next video. Check us out if you're interested in my community or courses at ecommerceamplifiers.com. If you need a dev team, hit us up at epicdesignlabs.com. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. And give me a like if this was helpful. Thanks so much.